Thanks for the thumbs up, whoever just did that. Crazy Sibs, what's up? How are you doing? The Triplite Smart 1050 SLT. This is a Smart Pro e Ups battery backup and power protection unit. I plug all my electronics into this. This thing is sweet. Well, my sound is working, so that is good. What is up, Tyree HD? How are you guys all doing? Thanks for hitting that like button. So this thing's a power backup, and I just wanted to do a 10-minute video here. Maybe I'll unbox it quick, show you guys this. Um, this is in case there's a thunderstorm. This thing is like a surge protector, but a big one that actually has a... Yeah, I'm going to open it here in a minute real quick. But this one has a big fat battery in it. And if the power goes out, this actually stays, keeps all my stuff on. So even if lightning strikes, I can stay on the computer because it causes... This helps to like take the lightning strike. So it's... I'm not, nothing's interrupted, like it's uninterruptible, like whatever. Yeah, I know. Let's open this thing up. All right, hold on. So maybe I'll have to move this back a little bit. Just give me a minute here. Let me move this thing over here for a minute. So if you guys don't have something like this, we've been having a lot of thunderstorms where I live. So I thought this would be a good investment. Here is the the model numbers in the dis or in the title, but here's the information. If you just Google this part and then the name Trip Light, you can go look this up and read all about it. So, it's heavy because it's a battery backup. Boom. Oh, it's heavy. So nothing else comes in there except this thingy you get. Got this. It comes with this thing. That's like an old, I think that's VGA cable. Anyway, it looks like you get, that looks like a regular printer USB cable type of connector. And then that. Nothing else is in the box. Here it is. This thing is heavy. I got to get it hooked up soon. Power protection. It can't beat it. Anybody else getting on here? I hope I didn't pick a bad time during the day. Last week, everybody was on here at 2 o'clock. So it, it was in the package really well. This has a warranty on it. I think it's three years or might even be five. Quality Assurance Test Paper. 
So that's always good to see something like that sitting right on the top, right from the man, right from the factory. Okay, there's the back of it. You can see it's got its own power supply. One, two, three, four, eight ports that you can plug stuff in into this for battery backup and power protection. So I'm gonna plug, I'm gonna plug my computer in, my, both of my monitors and all the stuff around my computer desk, my lights that are at my computer desk. Here's what the, there's the, and the bottom. There's what the, t the front looks like. And then this side. So let's just spin this around. Actually, we'll just spin it here. Okay, so that's the trip light power backup surge protector that I'm working on hooking up soon. Looks here like everything passed, everything's been inspected. This is nice to see something like this sitting right on the top, of course. So I don't know if we gotta. I think you just like plug it in, it has to charge up maybe. So maybe I'll do that in a little bit. Let's see here. Let's get this slid over a little bit. Can you guys hear me okay? How's everybody doing? See anybody else getting on here? Oh, what did I just do? Almost signed out of my own account. Don't want to be signing out. Yes, here you go. Okay, cool. Thanks, Crazy Sibs. And you got to sign back into my account here. I don't know what happened. Put the wrong button is what I did. Click the wrong button. Okie dokie. Okay, so that's that. Uh, there's only one person on here watching. It's kind of strange. That's really, really strange. Well, I'll give it a little bit here. Maybe I can get this thing plugged in. Because... You guys get on here. What's up, Zayden, best gamer? Thanks for hit. This is my new power backup and surge protector. You have to rewind this video and go look at the beginning. I just unboxed it. Now I need to plug it in and get it charged up. Quick installation. So it looks like I get all this paperwork with it. Tells me what to do here. To match my input voltage, all models are preset to 120 volts. So there is a setting I got to make sure I change on the back first. So I'm going to spin it around in a minute. I guess until we get some people on here chatting, I'll just do a little video. So I'm getting something done. The voltage, it says, needs to be preset. Okay, so there's like a little code, there's a little chart 
You guys probably can't see it. Depending on... So let me show you guys this. So if you, if you guys ever buy one of these, you need to make sure that you set the voltage correctly before you like plug it in. And I think it says by default, the ups disconnect, it says here that by the all models are preset to 120 V. So it just shows you a little code there. If I can get this to focus. There, you see the little arrows? There's just a little code and then you follow like when both of those little white things are down, the arrows are both pointing down, it's at 120 volts. So you have to set this to match the volts before you plug it in. So that's what I will do. And mine is already set and ready to go. Then you got to plug it in. It'll start charging. So as soon as you plug it in, it starts charging. And then it won't actually supply power to these outlets until you turn the unit on. So it's a pretty nifty device. It's very helpful if you live in an area <coughs> where you have thunderstorms and all that stuff. What's up, Krishnana? Krishan? Krishna? You probably don't remember, but last time I was on live stream, you summer job. I got original Xbox to work. Hey, that's cool. Awesome. Make sure whoever's on here hit that like button on this video. No, you didn't, Zayden. You're still alive. Of course you didn't die. Uh-oh. I hear Tasha. Dang, what the poop I hear. What? 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 Tashi. Zayden is going mental. Okay, so I guess that we're getting all the people on here that is getting on today. I don't know. Anyway, let's just go through here. I'm going to plug this thing in for the first time and get it charging up. So here we're going to put it here so you guys can see it. And I'm going to plug it in. All right, got a light came on because it's charging the batteries for the first time. Again, it doesn't supply power to the outlet unless I turn it on. There's a little power supply fan in the back that's running already. So we'll just let that sit.
Tashi, what are you doing? Nice doggy. I have a visitor. Tashi, what are you doing over here? I can't believe you got up. You're a nice dog. You're a nice dog, Tashi. Yes, you are. You like this? This is new. It's nice, huh? So look at this, got the manual. We got to plug it into an outlet, dedicated circuit, which we did. The voltage is set correctly for America, United States. And then let's see here. After you plug it in into a live AC, it'll power, it'll charge. Battery charge LED will be the only LED illuminated. So it is charging right now. So you're not supposed to plug in high draw equipment such as laser printers into the battery backup surge protection outlets. So if you have any equipment that has a real high draw, you're not supposed to plug it in. So maybe we'll maybe we'll turn it on here in a little bit. Maybe we will get a few more people on this live stream. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Something went wrong there. Anybody else getting on here? Where is everybody today? I am very surprised. I cannot stay on here too long today. I have a lot of stuff to do. Where is everybody? Like Jason and Jeff. Oh, well. Well, since you guys, whoever's on here, um, I hope that everybody has entered my little giveaway i'll mention that again too that's on my youtube channel and you can look for the video the amazon gift card giveaway that i'm doing it is free to enter and i'm hoping all you guys that watch my channel entered so you have a chance to win a 250 dollars e-gift card from amazon so if you're new on here and you want to check that out you can go read all the official rules and the details of the video I don't see anybody else getting on here. I will stay on for 25 minutes and then I'm getting off if this is the only people that are getting on right now. Okay. Okay, so maybe later, for those of you who are watching or even interested, this thing right here, maybe later on I will do like a basic operation of it. Of I'll actually record and make a video of this. Because I can actually power, I can go ahead and turn it on real quick. So press and hold the standby button for one second. The alarm will beep once briefly after one second has passed. Release the button. All right. So it's turned on right now. That means the outlets have power going to them. For anybody that's watching, anyone that's even interested or cares. Okay. So five more minutes, I'll stay on the live stream unless we get some more people on here in chat. Maybe people just didn't get notified. Maybe they're busy. I don't know. 
but I wanted to get a video up today for you guys. Okay. We're going to turn it off. So now I turned it off. I'm going to turn it back on. Over here where this battery indicator light is, there is three lights. So my guess would be when it's fully charged, it probably turns green. I don't, I don't know. Like these ones, but I don't know. I'm curious as to how many, like how long will it last if the power goes out? So there's like more, more stuff to this. And there's some tests you can do on it. Maybe I'll do a video later. Once I become familiar with it, it's not much that it really does. Uh, it's all pretty much self-explanatory, I guess. Lil Taco, sup? I'm back. Good. Hit the like button. I got, I got a power backup here, Lil Taco. And a surge protect. Well, this is a surge protector and a power backup, all in one, so I can play on the computer during a lightning storm. I mean, I don't recommend you guys do that, but I will. <coughs> I don't think, it looks like you can't really pull off nothing. So I'm going to turn it off right now and let it charge for a little while. The fan on the back is running. All right, so we'll play around with this stuff later. I don't think I'm going to keep this box. I'm not going to need that anymore. I'll get rid of that stuff later. Everybody hit the like button on this video. You should get the grapes again. Yeah, I guess I could get the grapes again. I already... Oh, I'm so full right now. I was already eating. I'd probably throw up then, like, on video, and I don't want to do that. I'm stuffed full right now. See you later, crazy sibs. No, we... I don't have any good... Well, I need to get some cinnamon. I didn't do that yet. That'll be for another video. Okay, well, I got to be on here for about another minute or two, and then I'm getting off because I have a lot of stuff to do. Just wanted to say hi to everybody. Wanted to do a little unboxing with this Trip Light Smart 1050 SLT Smart Pro Ups Power Backup and Surge Protection. Pretty awesome little machine. All the information that, well, all the basic information is in the description of this video if any of you are interested. Unfortunately, where I live, we get thunderstorms randomly. And my TV, I actually have a YouTube video showing me putting a new main board in my LG TV because we had a storm. And that wasn't all, you know, connected. And that thing, like, blew up or whatever. So... Okay, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get off here. Got lots of stuff going on, lots of stuff to do. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for getting on here and staying engaged on my channel. Have a good one. See you next time, guys.